What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the export function inside of Fusion 360 in order to export a SketchUp file that you can import inside of the 3D modeling program SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So it's actually really nice that this is built in. It's really easy to do. So what we're gonna do in order to export this from Fusion 360 into SketchUp is the first thing you need to do is you need to save this. So this needs to be saved in your cloud because um, in order for this to be saved, in order for this to work, there's some there's some cloud translation that has to happen. So, um, but what we're going to do is make sure that you save this and then just go up to File, Export. You're going to notice there's actually a ton of different uh, export types in here that you can use. So STL, FBX, um, but the one we want in this particular case, because we want to take this to SketchUp, is we want to go to SketchUp Files. So that's going to export this to an SKP file. And note that when you do this, this tells you that the file type requires cloud translation, meaning it has to uh, it has to convert the file into the SketchUp format. So that does take a little bit of time. And then all you need to do is just have the name in here and you just need to dictate to it where this is going to go. So in this case I've got the name which is pipe fitting and uh, so we're just gonna click Save and we're gonna click Export. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna export this file into that folder. And you can see how this gives you a status bar showing you how quickly that's being done. So it's just gonna take a couple minutes in order for it to do this. And then we'll open it back up inside of SketchUp. So once this is done, this is gonna give you the option to show in File Explorer. So this will go through and this will uh, convert this. And then if you click on this, it's gonna pop up the file. And so in my situation, I have several different example files that I've used in here. But in this particular case, we're gonna use the pipe fitting V1. So because because I have SketchUp loaded on my computer, I'm just going to double click on this and this file is going to load up inside of SketchUp. And if you get this message asking if you want to fix something, just go ahead and click fix now and this should work just fine. Um, if you do have like a really small file, you may run into some issues there. Um, um, if, that's, if this has really small dimensions, sometimes SketchUp will kind of lose some faces that are in here. Um, but you can see how this uh, imported this as a, or this creates this as a SketchUp version 2015 file, meaning that you can open this in older versions. But you can see how you can come in here and you can kind of fly around in this. And like I said, some of these edges make it a little bit weird if this is smaller because SketchUp doesn't handle really small objects. So if I click on this, for example, you can see how this doesn't come in as a solid. So there might be some cleanup that you'd have to do there. But overall, you can export these files from Fusion 360 to a SketchUp file. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you would use? Have you ever exported anything from Fusion 360 to SketchUp? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.